this is going to be the tutorial to show you how to make the sunflower granny square. And for this granny square, all you need is a little bit of brown, um, some little bit, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, if you're making an outfit, obviously you need a lot, but uh, it takes not as much brown because it's just for the center, and then some bright yellow to do the flower, and then you can use uh, green just because I like the green. Uh, to make it look like the leaf color surrounding it but you can use any color for the surrounding you can even use any color for the the flower it doesn't have to be sunflower colors it can be daisy colors or your favorite colors uh, it can just be flower afghan so uh, what you need for this project is a five millimeter hook and at least three colors and also a tapestry needle to sew in your ends I love sunflowers as you can tell. <laughs> uh, I made this uh, granny square originally uh, to go with the granny square, I mean the granny, uh, the sunflower uh, pillow. And it's been a while since I made that. Uh, I'll show you some pictures so you know what I'm talking about. And I made th this granny so that you can have an afghan on the bed. You could make a couple of pillows and uh, also have some other. Um, sunflower patterns as well that you could use because uh, as much as I like sunflowers and flowers in general I thought you could make uh, uh, you know flowers everything in your room <laughs> to make it look really nice so that was my plan behind this so it's really easy to do and I'm going to show uh, you this video do I'm redoing uh, for request lately I've been doing a lot of my videos again I asked you guys uh, which ones you'd like to see now that I have an HD camera uh, and a little bit more experience. Which ones would you like to see me redo? I have so far redone the um, the rip, Ripple Wave Beanie and the Butterfly Stitch Beanie. And now this one. So I ask you if you want to leave a comment below this video. If you have a video of mine that you've seen that was bad quality or something like that and you, you want me to redo it in HD, please leave a comment below and I'll get around to redoing it and also I redo the pattern as well so I just try to upgrade to make thing. the center so grab your color that you want and your five millimeter hook or size H hook and I'm going to use this bigger yarn but uh, just because it shows up on camera a lot easier and you can see the stitches but I used uh, there's hair on this I used worst weight yarn which is four ply for the US and ten ply for Australia Okay, to begin, you want to chain four and then slip stitch in the beginning chain. And I'm sorry if you can hear that construction outside. They're still building that building next door. Hope it's not going to take away from you being able to hear me. So once you slip stitch in that beginning chain, chain two, one, two, that will count as your first double crochet. Then yarn over and working in the ring itself you want to do 15 double crochets and since that chain 2 counts as a double crochet you'll have 16 stitches total so continue that around until you have your 15 double crochets and you're beginning chain 2 you have 16 stitches and once you've done that you want to find the top of that chain 2 and slip stitch in the top of that chain two. Then chain one, and you're gonna wanna cut your yarn, just like this. And once you have your yarn cut, just to make sure your tails don't uh, show up, I like to get my tapestry needle and work it down around the stitches around my circle here. Just a little bit of a ways. Pull it down, then I cut. And that's how you get the center. Now, when you're attaching your next color, which is the petal of the flower, you're just going to make another slip knot like this. And then you're going to find one of the stitches here. 
which would be, I guess, one of these. The very first one, go under both loops of the stitch. Then you just want to slip stitch that new color on. Then you want to chain six. And I hide my tail as I'm chaining my six. So I get my tail, I put it on this side, I chain one. I get my stitch, my uh, tail, and I put it on the other side of my, uh, in front of my hook, in between my hook and my yarn. Put it like that, then do another chain. And then again, I want to move it on the other side, in between, and chain again. And I do that all the way until I have my chain of six. And then when I get to the end of my chain of six, I've hidden my tail. So once you have your chain of six, I'm going to go ahead and back up real quick. Do my chain of six with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just because it's easier to show you with this color. Now when you have your chain of six, yarn over and you want to do a double crochet in the third stitch from the hook. So count one, two, three. And in that stitch, you want to double crochet. And then in the next stitch, you want to do a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Then you want to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then in the next stitch, go in, pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through both loops. And then the very last chain, go in, and do a slip stitch just like that and then you want to slip stitch on the next the next following stitch so go right into the next stitch and you want to slip stitch as well just like that and that's your first petal now you want to start right away and chain six again to start your next petal one two three four five six third chain one two three third chain from the hook do a double crochet. Then again, the next stitch, do a half double crochet. You pull through all three loops. Then the next stitch, do a single crochet. And then you want to slip stitch in the next, I mean the last chain. And then you want to slip stitch again in the following stitch on your circle. And then again, you'll chain six. Three, four, five and six. So then you continue your next petal and you continue to do this all the way around. You should have 16 petals and once you do again I recommend you get your tapestry needle. You want to flip over your work and then I usually follow it down along the edge a little bit and then up a little bit through one of the petals midway, at least halfway, pull it through, make sure it's hidden well, then I get my scissors and I cut it. And then I will show you how to do the next part. Okay. Now this is where we start to do the green part and there's going to be two rows, uh, actually three. Uh, there's going to be the connecting row and then the cross stitch row and then the double crochet row. So you're going to do about three rows with this, with green or whatever color you choose. So what you do is you get your green or whatever color you're going to use and you unroll the very end here and you have the double crochet and the half double crochet and you want to go ahead and put your actually it's a uh, there's a chain there's a chain two here on the end it's the chain between the chain two and the double crochet the first double crochet you're going to want to put your your um, hook in between those first two stitches and slip stitch on. I guess I have to correct my pattern on that one. Okay. And again, I'm going to be hiding my tail as I do my chain. This is only a chain of three. So I'm going to chain one, 
move my yarn over, chain two, move my yarn over, chain three. Now when you've got your chain of three, go to the next following stitch. Again, it's between the, the chain and the first double crochet, that first loop here. Go in there and slip stitch. Then chain three again, one, two, and three. You can cut your excess tail here. I usually, uh, when I begin my connection here, I usually start with a small tail because I know I'm only going to be able to hide it between three chains. So if you have a long one like that one there, just you can cut it. Or you can wait and uh, work over it next round because you will be working over this uh, chain next round, which may be uh, better. Oops, somehow I got my yarn in a knot. Okay, so you want to continue to do that all the way around. I just chain three again, find that next stitch here at the end, and slip stitch. Chain three, then find your next stitch. And you want to continue to do that all the way around to connect all your petals. Okay, I'm about to do my last chain three. And what I do, since when you slip stitch, it's pretty much a chain. Between the last section here, I only do a chain of two. And then I slip stitch in the very same stitch I used to slip stitch my color on. And uh, I just slip stitch there, which creates the third chain here for me. Now for the next round here, once you've got all your petals connected, is you want to chain two and then in the first space you want to work I'm gonna work over my tail here it's gonna you're gonna work your first corner and corners are going to be two double crochets so that's one two so you got two double crochets then chain two, one, two, and then you want to yarn over, go back right into that same stitch and put two more double crochets, one and two. So that is your corner. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Now for the center pieces of the granny, we're going to put two double crochets. So one, Two. And you're going to repeat that for the next two stitches as well. You're only going to be putting two double crochets in each of those next two spaces for a total of three places where you put two double crochets. So this is a corner and then one, two, three sections have two double crochets. Now you're ready to make your next corner. And again, the corner is two double crochets, chain two, and then go right back into that same spot. And you're going to put two double crochets. So again, you have your next corner here. Then you're going to repeat what you just did here. One, two, three, in between three of the petals, so one, two, and three here, you're only going to put two double crochets in each. So you're going to have one, two in the first one, and then move over to the next. One, two in the second, then the third, one, and two. So now you have your next, you have your corner here, and then your three sections again and then another corner just like this one here in this space then again you'll do one two three just like you did here and then you'll complete that all the way around until you have four corners each one of your corners so keep continuing all the way around and I'll see you in a moment okay when you get to the end of your round this is your first chain two you want to skip that. You don't want to end your row by slip stitching in the top of the chain two. You want to find your very first double crochet of the corner. So you have your double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Find that first double crochet here and you want to slip stitch in that top. 
then you want to go ahead and you want to slip stitch in the next stitch as well into your double crochet which is going to bring you over to the top of this double crochet now chain one and now we're going to start our cross stitch so you're going to be working on the actual post of the stitch so yarn over go into the post bring up that post then do a double crochet onto the post then you're going to be working backing up and working on the other post so you're going to back up grab this next post the previous post and you're going to do a double crochet on that one that is a cross stitch now you're in the corner now now you're in this very corner you always do the corners the same so just like last time you're going to work right into that stitch and you're going to put two double crochets and then chain two and then again you're going to go right back into that space and do two double crochets just like you did before the corners will be the same all the time so now you're going to skip this first double crochet and go into the second one you're always going to skip the first go into the second and you're going to pull up that post and do a double crochet yarn over and then now go back into this other previous post and work a double crochet remember you're trying to cross stitch them over and then move on to the second skip this one and then on the next one pull up that post and then you'll back up and you'll do the previous one and do a double crochet on those to finish your cross stitch and you're going to complete your row the same way whoops always skipping the first going into the second doing a double crochet on the post and then picking that other one up sorry if I with my yarn here and finish the cross stitch now this is the the corner the corner piece you're going to also work a cross stitch on this next one as well and you should have a total of one two three four five five cross stitches in each corner I mean in each section here and then you'll have five here five here and the corners will always be done exactly the same so you're going to do the corner as always putting two sorry about all the noise outside they're really loud today so you put two inside here chain two and then work two more double crochets in the corner and the corners will always be worked this way and then you continue here not on this one but here double crochet then back up double crochet just like you did on this and when you get up to the end I'll show you what to do next. To the end of the row you have your chain space here skip that space don't use it now you have your your cross stitch and the stitch you need to use is kind of behind so you need to use this one see how they're kind of they're crossed and so it almost looks like it's hiding it so you're gonna have to push that up and slip stitch in this top stitch here and just slip stitch there then you want to chain two one two and now we're going to be working with uh, in each stitch so you're going to go right into each stitch and put a double crochet so you just put one double crochet in each stitch and uh, the corners again are done the same way where you put two double crochets chain two go right back into that same space one and two and now again so for each stitch you're going to be putting one double crochet 
So just find each stitch and put one double crochet in each stitch. And the corners will always be done the same throughout the whole project. So this is your last uh, round or row. No, it's round. You're working in the row. So this will be the last one putting one double crochet in each stitch around and at the end this is what you'll have all corners uh, like I said are done the same and, and you get all the way to the end again you'll slip stitch in the beginning double crochet chain one and cut your yarn and then you can use this uh, to make to make anything afghan or a jacket shawl curtains rug anything that you like so that is it that is how you make the granny square the the flower or the sunflower granny square i really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please don't forget to like and share this video and please don't forget to like me on facebook as well and also if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel you can subscribe uh, on the little button below the video and you'll always uh be you know told whenever I upload anything new so thank you so very much for watching